get dropped when I enter the local. get dropped when I enter the local. Stream's good. We are live on Twitch and recording here on YouTube. Welcome to Echoes of New Eden. Yeah, I don't know what Rambo, if he's on vacation or what. He looks awfully comfortable there, doesn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, he's, not, <laughs> he's not in his studio. Uh, tonight is going to yeah. be a little raw. Uh, compared to some episodes, uh, we don't have Rambo in the studio, which means we don't have the audio effects that always come um, from his studio side of things. And uh, <laughs> yeah, is he traveling, taking my job? Exactly. Uh, and on my end, uh, my side of things for my normal input for soundboard decided to uh, to die. Uh, so I, I don't. I, I have no way to play any any audio at this point, other than my own. Oh, my own terrible. Voice. terrible! It's terrible. terrible I'm a terrible, terrible. co-host. I upgraded this thing to iOS 18, and uh, <laughs> oh jeez, now you got a different biggie, Rick. And it lost Whoa. my uh, soundboard, uh, lost my soundboard thing, so I can't play any, any audio. So with that said, here we are, ready to go. It's another week. Uh, Echoes of Needing is back, and what's happened? Uh, we've got some community news to go over. Not a lot, a little bit. We got some uh, some updates from the patch notes, um, some developer updates on that end of it. And aside from that, maybe consider your suggestion, and that's about all she wrote. Yeah. What's new with you, Rambo? What's new with me? Yeah, I'm in a different location this time around because yeah. it's so freaking hot in my office, especially when uh, I turn the AC unit off because yeah. I have to have it off. Otherwise, you guys hear it the entire time. Yep. And it's over 100 degrees. It's over 100 degrees right now still. And it would be that in my office. So instead of getting tortured in there like I was last week, believe it or not, like last week I was dying. Yeah, I was dying pretty badly. And uh, so this week, the girls, they're actually at a hotel. Um, so everybody's away and I am just chilling. Just chilling and uh, using my iPad this time around for uh, the podcast. And... I got my other tablet set up on a screen so we can go over um, official Evecos announcements and news and such and and go over that stuff. But uh, yeah, what a, what a week it has been. And get this, last Sunday after we had our show, the server goes down. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> right afterwards. Yeah, and that outage must have happened. I mean... People were not able to log in. Like, it took, like, 15 minutes to log into the game. And it took forever to do anything. They are just having super bad lag or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I just logged out. I'm like, I was actually stuck out outside of my Citadel. I couldn't dock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so I'm like, what the heck? So I just logged out. I'm like, screw it, whatever. If I die... Then NetEase is going to SRP it, and uh, we'll go from there. Turned out to not be the case, but after, man, it had to have been like four hours that 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 served the server was out. It so, was a long time. It was a very long time. I don't know what took them so long to, other than the fact that maybe they weren't in. Well, no, at that time of night they're in work. It's their Monday morning. Right. So what's yeah. the excuse? I mean. Well, it happened shortly before the server reset that happens every Sunday for us. Every Sunday, yeah, yeah. So UTC zero, right, right as soon, right before it, because it happened about fifteen minutes beforehand. So like, uh, that's when your DR resets. Yep. Um, I don't think that's when Concord resets. Maybe it is when Concord resets. I'd have to no, look. No, because Concord's like a different day of the week now. Every week, because it starts. On I the thought first it was like Thursdays. Then, yeah. Well, no, it's it's it goes on the first and. Then seven days later, then seven days later, right? And oh, so it could okay. be a different day of the week every damn time. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's irritating. So Can't track it. It was kind of right in that. And people were doing DR when that whole thing happened. And so people were literally stuck in dormant room. You couldn't get out. <laughs> like, how is this happening right now? So it was, it was pretty good entertainment 
um, after the show last week. Yeah. So. I don't know if I'd call it entertainment. It was irritating. Uh, four hours oh, yeah, of an true. outage. They so did. I was uh, singing. They did give us quite a bit of uh, compensation for that. I forget what the total amount of SP was, but it was like three hundred eighty thousand SP or something. I mean, way more than four hours worth. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty decent amount. Yeah, and luck points, and the Lazarus points. Yeah, I mean, that was a lot. That was that was that was a lot. I was actually impressed with at least that. Right, so there was a big fuck up, and they at least, uh, yeah, exactly. Very surprising. Yeah. Very surprising. <laughs> you know you know what else was surprising this last week? What's that? My inscription of the galaxy rewards finally went out. That's right. That's right. Finally. Inscription of the galaxy Nirvana, inscription of the galaxy conquest. I'm sure there's a couple others in there that those corps were waiting for their rewards. And this last week, we finally got them in the uh, weekly update. Um, maintenance patch. And so here, yeah, and metals. That, in, uh, nano that includes my corp. Yeah, my corp got the corp logo, the corp banner, the metals. We didn't get nano cores, which we we're supposed to be getting nano cores. But some people after did. talking with, yeah, after talking with some other corporations, they actually got nano cores, but not their metals. So I'm like, well, I don't know. They they kind of messed something up, but it. It took over a year, possibly even two years, to get that stuff, which was absolutely insane. And yeah. I, I know I've bugged them until I got exhausted doing it. Uh, bugging Arrow, contacting community managers, all that stuff. And uh, we finally got them. Was it worth the wait? <laughs> I guess, you know, I, I'm just happy we got them. The wait was a little bit extensive, if, I, if you ask me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we finally know how I got banned. I was <laughs> basically, uh, <laughs> yeah. Arrow has gotten a decent amount of messages from me. All the community managers, uh, it, yeah, just like, well, what the heck? You're dropping the ball, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, it looks good. I like our, I like our logo. Our logo looks freaking badass in space. It does. Oh, it man. looks great uh, on the on the top I of the screen is. when you're going through uh, 3QE, <laughs> and then of course the banner itself uh, looks really really nice on jump gates. Uh, so um, everything looks really really good. I'm so I'm happy about that. So I like you, Kai's. That was my favorite. That's that medal that I put up of the cat with the uh, dick for a face. That's uh, that's literally oh what that yeah, is. yeah yeah yeah. So, he had a tuxedo cat with yeah. he had a tuxedo cat with a a penis for a face. Uh -huh. I'm surprised I went through. Yeah, that's. I am too. I am. How too. much is he selling those for? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen him say anything about it yet. I haven't wanted to buy one, so I haven't tried. Uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I've already had people offer to buy medals off of me. Sorry, not for sale. Yeah, right. <laughs> not for sale. After all Board that time, only. how could you? I mean, after all that time, right? I'm like, in fairness, I probably shouldn't sell them. They're they're going to go to the members. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, let's see what else this last week has happened. You know, um, as, well, let, let's let's go ahead and, and get into the game news and sure. uh, with with our announcements and such. Okay, you got that. So yeah, um, I do. I'll go pull it up uh, real quick. You know, as far as for announcements goes, they actually had one. They, oh, well, they yeah. actually had one. Unbelievable. Well, and, yeah, about uh, the outages. <laughs> well, yeah, Lan Lance Dot says, due to some network issues we encountered before the server launch, the maintenance will be extended by 120 minutes. Please be aware of this. Remember to check the compensation email after entering the game. Yep. So what's funny about this is when the patch initially got implemented and people updated their game, we got the court banner and the court logo. But we didn't get our medals. It wasn't until the next day that they sent me the medals, whom I'm not even the CEO of the corp anymore because they're supposed to go to the CEO. Right. And we got them the next day, and it's like, what the heck? Now, how so, funny would that be had they sent those to you and it's been so long you're not even in Red 1 anymore? Like, had you moved on? Like, like how, yeah. would, that, how would that work? 
I know they that that happened before with uh, Hogs back in the Care Bears with Guns days when the Inscription of the Galaxy event finally got sent out. They sent all the codes to, uh, God, what was that guy's name? The old CEO who got kicked out. He stole a bunch of shit and left. Not Lelouch. <laughs> no, Cl we're talking about Clapster. <laughs> a name I haven't heard yeah. in a really long time. But all the codes and everything yeah. went to him. And he was, I don't know if he was holding them ransom for a while or if he just wasn't responding to people or what, but it took a while for hogs to get their shit from him. It was kind of, uh, kind of irritating, <clears throat> but it is what it is. So, I'm glad you finally got him. Well deserved. Yeah. Long time coming. I guess that means we should just bank on a year at this point uh, yeah. for any of this stuff when, I mean, which is, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't take this long. Well, I haven't looked, but in this inscription of the galaxy event, is, is there promised custom rewards? No. There isn't? No. Interesting. No. I wonder why that is. They're probably just hmm. never going to do it again. Well, that's a bummer. It is. Unless they implement something different to where, like, a brand new corp, maybe on day two, can be, or a given amount of time, they could just implement a custom banner inside the game you know have some sort of ui to be able to do that well yeah Instead I'd love... of, well the rewards were an incentive though to do well in the events right and i'm there's so, other but see there's other things they could give away in those events that don't require an art team um to get involved right so that we gave still... them the art <laughs> well, yes, we, but still, we, it's still invited. Yeah, files. but it still, it still requires their resources, right? To to come up with something oh. or to do something that's outside the normal flow of whatever the hell it is they're doing. So it could yeah. it could be that they're just looking. And I'm all for being able to customize things. So if the if the if those kinds of rewards go away because they're going to implement your ability to make your own banner in game, dude, I'm all for that. I don't care how much R that costs five thousand R, ten thousand R. Let's raise the money and go. No big deal. Um, which, again, we've talked about this about, I don't know, a million times. They're missing the boat on where they're trying to poach the money from. If they yep. just put up stuff that was for customization that didn't impact the game at all, they would make more money on a more regular basis, hands down. And everybody would be happy about it and love it. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe that's coming, though, as we'll talk about in the patch notes. There's a possibility that some of that's coming. And now that you say this, as far as we talk about this as a description of the galaxy and the banners and all that, maybe if they're not going to do that as a reward anymore, not get an art team or anybody else involved with our custom art that we send them, then maybe... And that's all speculation, by the way. Rambo and I haven't heard anything from from anybody that I know of uh, saying that they're going to get rid of that. It's just, it takes them forever to do. So I just don't know why they're why they would do it again. Who would who would even believe that they're going to do it if they if uh, they put it out at this point? So anyway, okay, yeah. All right, and then we're on to the patch notes. Yep, we're on to the patch notes. I'm pulling that up. <laughs> That's funny. That's a little... so we actually NPT had a decent uh, we actually had a decent patch note this week, which was a surprise to me. I thought we'd have two weeks in a row with really not much of anything um, because the tenth is next Wednesday, and that's the end of the current event. So this tells me that we're going to get through the next event. There's nothing going to happen on the 10th. It's going to be a quiet, you know, no server shutdown kind of patch. The event's just going to be over. All of our login event screens and all that are going to look really empty for a week. And then the week after on the, uh, what is it, the 17th, um, we'll, we'll start over or kick over to something that's going to lead up to the anniversary, which is now a month away. Um, they yep. got to have, have something that leads up. They've always had something that leads up to the anniversary. So I would be shocked if there isn't this time. So anyway, um, let's get into the patch notes. Okay. Corporation Outpost Operations. Capsuleers can now operate Corporation Outposts and Corporation Citadels to participate in defensive operations. Obviously, when they say Outposts and Citadels, this gets everybody confused sometimes. They mean a a T1, 2, or 3 as a corporation outpost, and a T4, which is a corporation Citadel 1. The others are corporation outposts 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I don't know. We may see some of that kind of thing make more sense when it keeps, as far as the naming goes, when a Keepstar or a Fortizar gets implemented, which is supposedly coming very, very soon. Um, 
i.e. maybe even a build event uh, leading up to the anniversary. We'll see. But um, I, so they added a lot of things in here for your citadels. And there's a couple of key things that, that happened that don't even really show up in these patch notes either that I want to make sure we cover. But uh, basically, this is weapons now on your citadels, just like you would have on your outposts. It's a different class. They're larger. They have a bigger power grid. I know you can put regular Capsuleer outpost weapons on the citadel. I've already tried that. Has anybody tried to put these, now that we've had time for them to be built, has anybody tried to put some of the larger uh, fittings that go on the citadels onto an outpost? Do they fit? Has anybody uh, has anybody done that yet or tried? I don't even own an outpost anymore to even try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have three, but none of the, I don't get to keep any of the PI. My corpse, a bunch of commies. <laughs> Bastard. I have to buy fuel for him some days. It's ridiculous, like today. <laughs> anyway, so now you've got a, an ability, and they, and they took the perms and sectioned them off. This was a smart move, finally, mm -hmm. where now you have a separate uh, permission setting for people who want to, uh, <laughs> Jane, uh, for people who want to be able to control that citadel uh, for defense. Um, I don't know how big of, a, of an impact this is really going to have on any kind of Citadel fights, to be completely honest. I, I see this as a big who gives a shit uh, in terms of the uh, the weapons on the, out, on, on the Citadels. I don't think it really matters. Jammer control was also pulled out. That was very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was That's good. Permission. Yeah, we've needed that ever since the Jammers came out. Maybe that means with some more of these things as we get into some other options that are going to come for other styles of citadels like Keepstars and Fortazars, we'll have some options for those as yeah. well. Fortazars are supposed to have fighters, so I'm really hoping they what's do funny, it. What's funny about that whole permission update is for the longest time I had permission of the cloak jammer to be able to activate it, and the one time that I'm online and I go to yeah. use it, I can't. I'm like, what? Don't have <laughs> oh, it. Oh, wait, there's a per yeah, there's a permission that I need. Yeah, okay. everything, everything had to be updated. Yep. Kind of a pain in the butt. Well, it was fixed now, but I think that was that was like the day after the update where we didn't even acknowledge that that was a thing. So the other I thing lost that's, my power. The other thing that's goofy with this is if you go and look at a, a T4, the, the T1, 2, and 3 citadels, have three high slots and three mid slots. T4 has six high slots and six mid slots, or at least it reads that way when you look at it in game on the market. When you go to the fitting screen, it's not there. It's three and three on all of them. It doesn't matter, even on the T4s. Mm. So, you know, again, I don't know how much it matters. The mid slots don't, the high slots anyway, to me, don't, I mean, the amount of DPS you're going to put out with medium missiles or large missiles in the high slot whether it's three or six don't really matter now newts in the in the in the mid slots though uh that that kind of especially if you actually do have six on a t4 um if they ever fixed that or if that was intentional or not i don't know that would be that would be quite interesting um because anybody who comes in on your citadel that's trying to brawl or be at zero or close to 30 40 off uh, their mm. logic is going to have a hard time doing anything. It's going to get nuded out pretty freaking quick. So, yeah I, yeah, I I agree. Change what we need in this game is more loss, not uh, better defensive systems um, on citadels. I don't think that does it still say six. No, it's only three. Yeah, but the, if you look at it on three the market, if you go and look at the description of it on the market, it'll show six and six. So go look at them there and you'll see it. That's funny. I mean, they made the outposts easier to kill, which was great because we're down to 12 minutes now. Um, the damage cap was upped. All that kind of stuff. Um, Citadels, uh, they're, you know, structure warfare is a pain in the ass. Just period. Structure warfare is a total pain in the ass. Nobody likes it anymore. Everybody's timer, t timer zone tanking. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, and I guess that's a, that's a, uh, yeah, the damage cap was increased. Yeah. So, I mean, you can, yeah, 
you can kill an outpost way faster. So I guess that's a topic that we can cover at some point, maybe not necessarily tonight, but we're almost four, we're almost at the four year mark. What's it say? Are you looking at the market? They are, well, according to their just little, I don't know, just info, it still says three and three, but it has here, you can actually uh, click onto the Corporation Outpost 2 or a T5 Citadel. Yep. And it's got four high slots and four mid slots. And it gives you defensive numbers, anchoring time, repair time, all that stuff already, too. Huh, interesting. Modules, uh, it gives 5% module upgrade success rate. Instead That's, of three at a T2? Well, according to mine, it says 5% as well. So I don't know, maybe it's Corp Tech Tree based. I don't know how they're getting those numbers. Well, it should be 3%, period. Base? Yeah, maybe. 3% yeah. to the base is what it's always been. I see 5% on these screens. So That's weird. Anchor points, 30 units. Um, or the T5. What's the anchor points on a T5? Doesn't say. Hmm. Hmm. The keep stars will be massive. Um, you'll have to have one in order to build a Titan. Oh, period. Wait. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, the other nice thing that was part of that update that's not even in the patch notes, though, when, uh, in terms of the Citadels, is you've never been able to see your actual resistances before. You've only been able to see your total hit points for shields, armor, and structure. And if you recall, in the Corp Tech tree itself, there are skills in there that you can upgrade to increase your resistance, but you never get to see that until now. Now that you can go into that fitting screen for your Citadel and see your actual uh, hit points, you can see your resistance levels as well. So, which is nice. And I can tell that those are, have been applied. In the past, you could never tell if they were applied, like some other Corp Tech doesn't actually get applied. <laughs> In this case, right. it did get applied. Um, so, anyway, I thought that was a nice that was a nice feature. I like that a lot. I'm all for taking the Citadels and taking the shit out of them. If you're going to hit it, it's going to take you a while. All right, they also added a new Spatial Rift Filament. It's a Homeward 1 Spatial Rift Filament 3. The special structure of this filament allows it to bypass your cargo hold restrictions, enabling the use of Expedition Series filaments to enter Calvalo Expanse, even when it is stored in the cargo hold. This new type of filament can capture the signal fluctuations from last reversal through a Spatial Rift, allowing the precise return to the departure system after use. However, it takes longer to construct the route compared to ordinary models, and you can just get them directly off the market. So, mm -hmm. you no longer have the cargo hold restriction going to Calvala. Does that may, does that entice anybody to actually go there? They, obviously, they feel like there's not enough people in Calvala, not enough people dying or and flying in Calvala. Um, part of that problem is, of course, when you would go there, you'd have to then rat in order to get a <coughs> filament to get the hell out. Um, right. Now you, can, now you can bypass that. So, uh, does that entice anybody... Uh, to going. Possibly. I still have no reason to go. I, I don't. I don't. I see a lot of juicy kills, mail, kill mails coming out of there, though. I do. I mean, if you're a uh, if you're a PvP or at heart, and that is what you do every day, then that's yeah. That and Ethereum Reach are both fantastic um, for that. They're fantastic for that. I. It's not that I don't PvP every day or try to PvP when I'm on, but. Uh, it's that those aren't those aren't the, those two areas are not the top of my list. Not with what I'm flying anyway. But I think that's a nice uh, a nice ad. That'll get some more people trying it. I think. Uh, balance balance adjustments. Loot crates in the Calvalo Expanse will no longer drop Expedition Series filaments. Common models. Uh, can now be purchased from the market in all regions controlled by drone factions. Other pirate factions, Nihilus space sub routes will no longer spawn. If a capsuleer's isk balance is negative, oh, that's that's okay. There's two different things there. Sorry. So in all regions controlled by drone factions, other pirate factions, Nihilus space sub routes will no longer spawn. Okay, so there's no more 
uh, subcap uh, NDSs uh, in drone lands. Interesting. Yeah. Didn't know they spawned out there. Didn't even know that, no. If a capsuleer's <laughs> ISK balance is negative, they will not be able to accept and counter missions. Now, that's an interesting little one sentence they put in the patch notes. So, yeah. first off, your first question when you read that is probably, how do you have a negative ISK balance? Netties. That's the only way you get a negative ISK balance is when yep. you've done something or tried to get money back or tried to do a refund through the store or whatever else, and you've been yep. refunded your money back, but then NetEase says, no, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to give your balance a negative count until you give us that money back, basically, is where that comes from. So you now have a negative. Yeah. Somehow you have to get that money back into your wallet. Uh, you now have a negative balance uh, in your ISK wallet. Um, so if they can't do any counter emissions now, that restricts one of the abilities to be able to earn that money back. Yeah. Not that big exactly. of a deal in my opinion. How many encounters make billions an hour? Not billions an hour. No. Heck, I don't even think you get a billion a day. Not with the uh, 50 limit. In encounters, no. No, the only way no. you're making billions is, is uh, capital, C and deads, and that kind of thing. CTRs. Right. You know, the first time I seen a negative ISK balance was uh, in the original Bot Wars. I didn't know that this could happen. This happened to Kerensky, if people remember, remember him from Genfit. But uh, they that was back in the day before you could destroy your pod, you know, with the two-minute self-destruct. And people were getting held hostage for ransom. Yeah. Well, he, he was reported for holding pods hostage for ransom had acquired money they whoever whoever complained about it and he ended up getting a negative isk balance because of it <laughs> that was the very first time i've ever seen that and ever since then it's it, it's it's always due to something not fraudulent but potentially fraudulent or just net ease um, taking ISK out of your account for uh, whatever reason. Right. Maybe bad, you know, uh, scam trades or anything like that. So I had it this happen to me one time. I clicked on the, I don't know, I was purchasing R or something, and I clicked on it, and I purchased two things of R somehow, whatever. It doesn't. I, I don't know what I was doing. I was probably half asleep when I did it. Anyway, so I tried to go back. I tried that. This is like maybe only six months into the game. And so I tried to go back and just get the extra, the double purchase back, essentially. That's why I just wanted to go and get that double purchase back. And they wouldn't, they, there was no way to really do it in the game. And I just went to Apple and did it and I got it back. No big deal. Next day I log in and I got a negative balance. I not, not only had a negative R balance, but I had a negative ISK balance too. Both of those mm. things at the same time. For that, I mean, it wasn't a huge amount. It wasn't a lot. So I was just like, ah, well, all right, fuck it. Screw it. I'll just, you know, put the money back in, got the, got the R back and the money back and all that. No big deal. But it, it wasn't a lot, but. Yeah. Well, there's, there's quite a irritating. few people probably to this day, there's probably still quite a few people who are trying to cheese the uh, inscription of the galaxy by spending money and then asking for refunds, you know, to get capital nanocores and all that type of stuff. Just the rewards from them. Yeah. It, it's, it's not uncommon that people are trying to, abuse that uh, ability to uh, hopefully get away with something they're cracking down on it obviously in it some ways i don't blame them the the lucky draw stuff for for all of this has gotten huge i mean it's just it's huge the amount of income they're making per day uh, <coughs> and people are willing to do it obviously so that, i mean why wouldn't they right why wouldn't netties continue to do these lucky draw type events for super capital nano course when people keep pushing out the kind of money that they're pushing out every single day i mean it's it's 20 30 000, the top five is twenty thirty thousand dollars every day geez that's that's insane every no single way. day yeah it's been going no. for weeks we got three more days still uh, I haven't seen a single day where it's dropped below. Just adding it up, looking at that lucky amount and how much dollar it is in dollars and everything. Adding it up, that top five. And granted, that's that's not even including the number six guy who just missed out. <laughs> yeah. The number seven, Yikes. the ten, the eleven. Because 
everybody's gamified this all the way down to where within that last minute to 30 seconds is when the everything gets piled in right everybody starts yeah. opening boxes nonstop to try to get there um and they probably got bots on them now just like on ebay placing bids you get outbid one second before the ding yeah auction is over well you can just set a <laughs> you can set a script inside of uh blue stacks or ld play or whatever to sure. open your boxes super fast right and and <laughs> exactly i mean <laughs> uh. then they're gonna have to then they're gonna have to do a captcha for opening supply boxes are you a bot yes or no oh god do this puzzle how many motorcycle pieces are there <laughs> uh, select the fire hydrants only <laughs> yeah. select the crosswalks yeah jesus all right uh, another update what? for capital remote repair module the large materials of its reprocess uh, reprocessed products have been adjusted to extra large materials so you'll now get better results out of doing that what's that uh Nessable was uh ah asking if i was using ear pods these are jbl's uh just wireless headphones that i got for uh my tablet gotcha I've had them a long time the maximum limit for anchoring similar corporation affiliated structures has been increased to 25 now this sparked a couple of conversations as well why 25 like without mm. any, without any corp tech you can anchor five citadels correct yeah. Okay. Five so, is the max. So that would be five tax centers. Not 25. I mean, because they're saying of the same, well, similar. The maximum for uh, limit for anchoring corporation. Pollution. Maybe they mean per system. Maybe they mean the total number uh, of add ons per system. Can you even put 25 structures? into a single system with the amount of energy are there even are there even 25 to anchor because that number doesn't make sense if it's all about the same one because even with corp tech you can get i can get up to i think it's 15 citadels is the max i went through and oh i'm sure there'll be more darez i'm sure there'll be more but if we'd have to go to the market i guess and look at how many structures are so, there there's so my citadel has 290 energy points yeah i do too on the t4 so yep. that if i had i could fit 25 p1 structures in a system based off the energy points but why would you do that three tax centers <laughs> three bounty centers i don't i don't why why wouldn't you want a t3 tax instead of t1 yeah, yeah. i don't know Maybe some people are choosing, I don't know, other structures to put into their systems rather than the most efficient. So Dara's is saying there's currently 15 different structures. So um, that's available. There are more on the test server. Exactly. We, we know of three or four that. more at least. I know so that because I spawned them. That's <laughs> probably that's. I, I think that's probably more to what that number has to do with, and not saying you can anchor up to 25 tax centers or up to 20 you know I, that that number doesn't make any sense to me yeah i don't think it'll allow you to anchor the same in the same system no no it has to be a different system but even then if you have 15 different systems you could have 15 tax centers right right so 25 i don't know we might be seeing another increase about with uh, corporation citadels or what keep stars bring well i wonder if a fortizar is going to be able to be anchored in the same system and close to your keep star because again it has defensive capabilities and eve online it can launch fighters and but then again those fighters are different those fighters can cover the entire system so <laughs> that's insane yeah it's pretty wild um yeah interesting well, maybe they're just making enough room for not having to worry about it for a while. If they're just ticking a number somewhere. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
Uh, okay, so they talked about the Concord Pass resetting uh, July 1st through July 29th. We all know about that at this point. So it being July 1st means we will see for, uh, yeah, we'll see all the, all the Mondays, basically, 8th, 15th, 22nd, 29th. Um, well, it says through the 20, yeah, through the 29th. So we'll get a full five weeks worth this time around as opposed to having like a dead couple of days before something starts over again. We'll have a 29th up until the 1st, which is on a Thursday. Then we'll have Thursday resets for the whole month of August. Mm. So that's good to know. Um, some optimizations. They talked about, obviously, they did the valuation of the market update finally, which is shit that they're doing that every two weeks now instead of once uh, once a week. Uh, materials such as computing units will now show their reprocessing sources. That's interesting. I don't think it's in this patch notes. I'm looking at, oh yeah, volume information is now displayed in the interface for nearly all equipment. That's very, very nice. Uh, that was never there before. You could never tell what kind of volume a certain item was going to take uh, until now. That's, I like that. I like that update a lot. Don't have to memorize how much a blue mod is going to be to know what you have to have on grid to pick it up after you kill that work wall. So, mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, reduce the maximum wait time for frequent uh, speaking in Novice Alliance and other similar channels. So you can spam Alliance chat now and not have a, a slowdown in your in your speech. That's good. Interesting. I get that all the time. When I'm on and I'm talking and I'm chatty, I get it. I get it. I, I can't even. Really? Can talk. After, after a while, I can't even talk. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm can't chatty. Even... I'm chatty, but maybe not that much. Yeah, I guess to where I can't even talk. It's stupid. It annoys the shit out of me. I haven't tried this yet to see how 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 much better it is. Hmm. We talked about the jammers um, having a thing. Waste seeker checkpoint that may spawn quietus carriers. What the hell's a quietus carrier? Are now renamed as waste seeker capital checkpoints. They updated the icon for the signal amplifier. Yeah, Rick specific patch note. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he writes in words. That's the only thing I can think of is you're doing three word sentences, and you're explaining I mean, something. Well, this is what I do, and I'll do it right now. It's <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Which totally, <laughs> Which totally <laughs> drives people nuts. Uh, and that's why I do it. <laughs> and I have never done that like that, texting otherwise, until Discord and this game. And I'm going to give you guys one hint as to why I do that now and didn't do it before. Can anybody, Rambo, can you guess why I do that now and didn't do it before? Um, it's the typical SHH executor thing because MJD, I believe, did it. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. <laughs> hundred <laughs> percent i learned it by watching jd <laughs> and i yeah. saw how it didn't bother me i could care less it was just like to me when it to me that when he did that it came across as he was trying to be a little thoughtful slow himself down but also be very blunt and get your attention right that's that's how i got that's how it came across to me i never took offense to it it never bothered me any but i saw how much it irritated the shit out of everybody else that doesn't really bother me. Everybody call I, I him a kinda, psychopath for typing like that, so I picked it up. It's like it's great. <laughs> and sometimes in Discord, it's better to talk like that than in just huge paragraphs. Oh, for sure. Who wants to read a uh, word salad paragraph by Bradrick? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, especially when you're in an active conversation and there's actually like people yeah. looking at the screen, then I think the context is better. Or there's this. It's just you put the line in and you say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like from this point on, everybody, stop talking. Hold on. <laughs> All right, time out. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. Uh, let's see. They had a big list of bug fixes, too. This is a huge list, actually. Um, fix an issue where the end time prompt was incorrect when unanchoring capsular outposts. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Nessible, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was quick, buddy. Fix an issue where the maintenance time displayed in the structure anchoring interface was also incorrect. That sucks. <laughs> so, timer issues. 
fix an issue where the, the special high slot of stealth bombers had no restriction effect in certain situations. Yeah, so if you had a bomber fit with your four torps before the patch came out and took the fourth one out and you hadn't logged into it or you hadn't gotten into it yet, if it was one of the ones you hadn't gotten into and then the bombers came out with the actual bombs, the actual real, real bombs in that fitting, that fourth slot came back and you could now get into that bomber and have all four of your torps work. Mm. Yeah. So they've fixed that now uh, to where that's not not the case, which sucks because I, I really liked my four, four bombs. Um, or my four torps anyway. Uh, but that's okay. The bombs are cool. I do like the way they've they've put the the bombs into this game, um, and I do actually I'm kind of coming around to the battleship bombers, even though I think it's a little silly. Uh, I am coming around to, it, especially uh, it, when we get the tier three uh, ammo. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be insane. Uh, fix an issue where there was no combat log after being destroyed by bombs in solo battle, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. which means when you yeah, solo we, battle, I like the way they worded we, that. Solo well, battle. we talked about that. What was it a week or two ago? Yeah, we talked yeah. about that. Where there was a video floating around of a guy he shot a bomb, yeah, and then then went toward it, and the bomb blew up and it killed himself, and it didn't have a loss mail. Right, which and means he couldn't he, get it he, back. He, yeah, he even reported it to. Uh, uh, we even they even reported it to customer service, and they say we do not recommend doing this. <laughs> Don't do it. And we do not recommend. <laughs> we do not recommend uh, you shooting yourselves with these bombs. Yeah. Don't shoot your own dictor in a solo battle. Yep, That's I like I like the solo battle part. This next one's a big fuck you uh, by Netties. Fixed an issue where the unclaimed time displayed in the insurance claim interface could be one month longer than the actual time. Could you imagine saving up to go and reclaim your capital and you're looking at that time and you see how much time you have and then you go and try to do it and it's, oh no, this has been expired by 16 days. <laughs> it wouldn't allow you? Yeah. yeah it oh allow God. It. <laughs> I mean... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this is the one I thought was the funniest, and I'm sorry, I'm sad to say they fixed it. Fixed an issue where some rigs were not aligned in the display. It was only on the uh, combat side, not on the engineering side, only on the combat yep. side. They'd be rotated all goofy. I thought that was I hilarious. Called them, I called them the derpy rig. Yeah. yeah especially. It, I mean, <laughs> we really, we we see this stuff all the time. I mean, it's How just it like the big, it's just like the big letters in space. You know, missing yeah. object. We haven't whatever. seen that in forever, though. Oh man, that needs to just come back as like an it Easter does. egg. You know, it like does. they just need to make a patch and throw it in there just because, <laughs> just for sh giggles. That meme's awesome. <laughs> Uh, anyway, fix an issue where tapping the skill training progress button on the home screen would not open the skill training interface. Now, I had this happen to me several times, but only when it was when I was switching between tunes on the same login. That's the only time I ever saw that where you would go. Well, and I had this a couple times, too. I'd go into one guy double check all of his skills, whatever, and then go into another guy and be completely confused because the skills that loaded were of the first tunes and not the seconds. And I could tell because the one tune was just is just for mining and uh, jump freighter pilot. And the other tune is all building. He has no repo skills, no nothing. Um, and so, you know, when I switch from one tune to the other, now I'm seeing a queue for repo skills that I just looked at a second ago and I'm like, oh shit, which account am I on? Oh, no, 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 no. It's it's a different account, but it's still there. And in those cases when that happened, uh, yeah, it's happening now on Planetary Interface where it's screwy, I know. Uh, but in those cases where that happened, there was nothing I could do other than just log out and log back in to get it to, like, refresh. So it's like hmm. a cash issue uh, in that in that stage, but whatever. Yeah, and I, I didn't have necessarily that. I had the issue with clicking on the skill bar in space and, and looking at that. But then nothing would happen, and so then I'd have to go the long way, 
right? It'd go into the menu and then go to your skills, go that route. I'm like, what the flip? What's going on? Weird. I didn't really think it. Would, I didn't. It, I just didn't think it was a bug. Maybe it was me just fat fingering it or something. But I guess so. It's a bug. Yeah. Yeah. There's some sort of an issue with the uh, the PI screen now, where you'll click on it to add your time. And nothing happens. And you'll just have to get out of it and get back into it and do it again. And sometimes it takes me two or three times on, on one specific tune only is what is when it does that. It takes a couple yeah, of times. It, it hasn't uh, messed up for me. Not in that aspect. Hmm. Fix the issue where the blueprint filter in the inventory interface did not include bomb blueprints. So that's good. So we can see those now. Fixed a rare issue where the fitting interface could not be closed. That would really suck, especially if you're in <laughs> space. <laughs> uh, fuck you. You're not done here. Uh, fixed a display issue that would occur when claiming items from the store that included delisted items. I don't even quite understand what they mean by that, but okay. Yeah. Fixed the display issue that would occur when claiming items from the store. Claiming an item from the store that includes a delisted item. How the hell would you, I guess it'd be sitting, maybe it's in that claim button uh, when you like do your Concord stuff and, it, and you claim it and it's up there, but you haven't gone back actually in and gone to actually claim it into your current hangar. Maybe if it's an item that's up there, that's not actually part of the current list of, of items or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Delisted items. Yeah. That was a new one on me. Uh, fixed an issue where the damage resistance effect of the Termina Echo mode might be ineffective. Yeah, I've, that's the uh, the way that that nano core works with the taking the incoming DPS, uh, the incoming damage anyway, and buffering that off and turning it into outgoing damage over a certain amount of time. I've heard that that has not been working as described uh, up until this patch anyway. I don't, I don't know about the last few days. I haven't heard anybody tell me. Uh, launcher bomb would immediately fire if interrupted during the launch preparation phase. Oh, you could click it and click it again and make it make it go <laughs> instantly, <laughs> not have to wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like uh, when the new Lancer uh, came out, the green one or whatever it is, you could just fire it nonstop right. uh, for the first couple of hours anyway. Which I wish they would have kept it like that because that's a shit ton of fuel. You're you're uh, you're not going to be able to fire like that for very long just because of the amount of fuel you need. Um, so, you know, having one of those have uh, just constant bursts is kind of cool. Kind of cool. We'll see what they do with Titans um, in terms of that. But uh, anyway, that's it for the patch notes. It was a good, healthy, uh, good, healthy amount of patch notes, honestly. Surprising. Yeah. I thought it would be a, I thought it'd be a down week, but I guess that means we'll have a down week here on the uh, 10th in three days. We'll see. You know, in, in that entire thing, it never not said, not even once did it say anything about releasing Inscription of the Galaxy rewards. No, nothing. But yet there they were. I I woke up the next day and my wife, she says, she whispers into my ear, we finally got our rewards. And I go, and I'm, less, I'm already like barely awake. I'm like, yay. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got an inside peek into Rambo and Allie's, uh, Nettie's, Eve Echo's real life. Like, that's the kind of sweet nothings she whispers into his ear. That's their pillow talk. That's, that's, the, that's, that's, that's the pillow talk. <laughs> <laughs> we got our corp logo and banner. Yay! Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, on top of, like, when I get home, I get debriefed on every, all the happenings throughout the day, too. So I hear about this stuff. You know, that's got to be kind of yeah. fun. That's got to be kind of fun. I do the same kind of thing, but obviously I do it with the corp guy, the guys in corp that are around, you know, catching up on stuff. But, I mean, that, that does have to be fun. That does have a, an appeal to it. Uh, some days I just don't even want I'm like, why am I being told this? Like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Interesting but, side uh, note, those patch notes were, were posted by Mara, our new Mara, community yeah. manager who has yet to be named as a community manager or anybody has, to say anything 
about them being a community manager. Their their tag is just administrator, not community manager, but they're listed mm-hmm. in the community manager section um, on the Discord. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, nor the- has anything been said in the CC chat. Nor was anything said in the CC chat about the Inscription Galaxy stuff. I mean, so the communication right. and lack thereof is is and, is there. And since Maru has taken role or position, I haven't even heard anything from Cat. Yeah. Like I can't even get into contact with Cat anymore. No. I'm like, hey, what's going on here? And nothing. It's been weeks, like two weeks now. Yeah. Down to nothing. Down to nothing. Okay. So that seems to be it for official news um, on um, the Eve Echoes. What's going on yep. with uh, the, the latest and greatest with the game. Now I have been seeing... Um, this has to do with the game a bit, but it's outside of the game. It's the Sweet app. Mm-hmm. The fitting tool had gotten updated today. And I guess they uh, they've incorporated all the latest and greatest ships into that too. So, if uh, the one on GitHub, we use that. Um, I don't know. I seen a link that was in the Android App Store. I don't have. Well, I do have Android. I have my Samsung tablet, but I haven't looked for that app because I don't really use it. I just ask people who do use it, and they run through it with me. <laughs> Yeah, and I have the version of it that's uh, the GitHub version that I run on the PC. It's just a little standalone app, um, but it's been taken off of the Apple Store for the longest time. Uh, it's not there. You can't get it anymore. Okay. Uh, and that's yeah, I never had it's, it. Uh, it's because it's not uh, under developed by the same guy, and it's just a crowdsource thing. I could see them putting it up on Android somehow, uh, but... Um, but yeah, I still don't see it over yeah. on it. I'd love to have it back on my damn phone, but isn't it just you have to you have to do uh, dots between each letter? I think to get it. Well, no, no, don't <laughs> don't give me that PTSD with that. Yeah. Oh, I hate those spiders, man. So ugly. The uh, well, you you can still get it on iPhone if you get the the app off of GitHub. And then use a program called Impactor to uh, force install it onto an iPhone. You can do that. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I've had I've had to walk uh, people through that in order to do that. You do that a lot with hacked apps. So yeah. Uh, so that's big news. I don't know if people really kept up to date with that. Um, I know a lot of people were using it, the Sweet app, uh, and they were bummed that it had gone down and wasn't updated for however long. So there it is. There, there's some news there as far as that. Happens. It's a great then, app. Um, I just, like I said, I just use it on the PC version now from GitHub. If you do a GitHub search for sweet uh, echoes or Eve echoes, sweet app on GitHub, you'll find it. Um, you'll be able to download it and use it on your laptop, on your, on your PC. Um, it's not the mobile version, um, but it's like its own little applet that just sits somewhere, any folder, it's executable file, and off you go. Uh, and, it, and it works just like it would on your phone, Android or iPhone or otherwise. Uh, it's very handy, um, very, very handy for looking at your fittings and skills and all that, planning things out. Uh, I do a whole <laughs> list of doctrine fittings on it. Uh, now that it's on the PC or since I switched over to that, it's so much it's so much easier to do. Um <laughs> on the PC anyway than on the phone when you're trying to do fittings and really look at things and then you can export it back out and have a, have a list uh, right there to go into a discord. So much, much easier than I ever would have on, on a phone. So when you're doing doctrine fittings and going through that kind of stuff, it's, it's great. So if the new stuff is on there, that's good. I mean, I really wish that the uh, implants and GUs would get on it, but man, the amount of coding or math Jerry rigging you'd have to do to get that to come out, even close to being correct, uh, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. So, because mm-hmm. that Nettie's math on the back end is, is tough. 
Uh, we can talk about that real quick if you want, Chain. Um, for those of you that don't know, Kimani, when AWOL disbanded and became no more, the AWOL hauling services went with it. And I figured we'd never see that again. Although here's Kimani now, and he's, he's apparently with AOA. Uh, and here he is in his latest and greatest hauling endeavor in an Imicus covert. Uh, no, that's an Imicus uh, Explorer. That's the Tech 10 Imicus version. And yeah. he's got a fucking gold <clears throat> implant in the hold, like a dipshit. Uh, <laughs> so that kill mail for an Imicus Explorer is $31.4 billion. Um, yeah. Approximately a third of his Thanatos loss. Which happened? Which one was first? That was seven. No, oh, so the, the Thanatos was a few days ago. Yeah, the Thanatos was first. Yep. So big loss there, two in a row. He's back out in his Thanatos already. Um, this morning was AOA's defense of uh, their Ethereum Reach Citadel, and he was spotted there uh, in his Thanatos defending that Citadel. So, mm. so he's got it back. Not that a, I mean, a carrier and a dread anymore shouldn't be that difficult for people to IP back at this point, or just have another one. I mean, or three you into, or ten. Yeah, I mean, once you're into carriers, once you're into dreads, a capitals, period, and you're really running and running and, and doing, which, well, this is what I tell everybody in my corp. I don't know how everybody else does theirs, but the second you get a new cap pilot, the first thing you tell that cap pilot to do is build another one. Just freaking build another one. And 554 five, jump minimum. Yeah, minimum 554. Five, <laughs> although I'm 555 five, five now, I'm pushing everybody to. A lot of people to 555 on certain things. Um, just like we're pushing on the implant side. No more snowflakes. Uh, what else we got? We're going to go into consider your suggestion. Yeah, we can. Um, I did get, I did get this DM to me the other day, just real quick. I don't know if many people know, but, uh, there was a member of the community this is back in the GHA days. He was uh, one of the military leaders in GHA. He went by the name of Zell, Z-E-L. Hmm. And uh, he had gone away due to a surgery. And it was a life-threatening type of surgery. And nobody's ever seen him after that. So a lot of people thought that he didn't make it past that surgery. Well, I got a message the other day telling me that he had actually spoke up in the Spanish Inquisition Discord, and he is alive. Yeah. So there you go. Good. Good news. There's, some, there's a yeah. A, if people remember back that that far back, I know I've talked about it in the past too. Heck, I think I even I may have even had him on the show. Hmm. When I was first doing, when I was in the GHA doing the podcast, I, I could have had him on the show. I'd have to look, look back at it. But yeah, I don't recognize the name, I, so I wouldn't know. I'm told that he's alive and well. So there you go. Now, <laughs> now we can get into consider your suggestion. That's basically all I had as far as <laughs> you know news from around New Eden right now. Uh, Damon hasn't been putting out videos, so we have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. No videos from Damon. Yeah. I mean, in, in his defense, um, from the from that standpoint, from what he's normally going to get on there and talk about, it's been fairly quiet. It's been a fairly quiet summer. Um, ever since the Battle of Bazi and the week after that where there was nothing, that was back at the beginning of June. That was the first two weeks of June. So I guess I can't say it's really been that quiet because those are big battles, right? So, but since then, it's been pretty, uh, it's been pretty tame. Um, so yeah, Chained, uh, we need to kick some ass. We need to go and kick some ass in some places. So you'll be hearing about that later. But yeah, let's do uh, consider your, yeah, exactly. The second time of, of Bozzy was uh, very anticlimactic. It was like, fuck, what is this shit? 
So let's do consider your suggestions. And I haven't been marking any of these times, so I have no idea. So rip timestamps. <laughs> um, can we? Okay, this first one comes from Lesso sixty nine. Can we have? Oh, geez. Yeah, exactly. Can we have scanner that specifically scans other ships in the area and does not include structure in the scanned results? Thank you. Eleven up votes, you seven know, down I, votes. I, I get his point. I know. I think Bradrick was making fun of him. This one—he's actually my court mate. Uh, he's <laughs> in my court. So when I saw the when I saw Bradrick's uh, Reddit post about him highlighting that uh, that comment or that suggestion, I was like, <laughs> okay, he made it to a Bradrick post. So good on to him. Yeah. But uh, I do see the point of that. It is kind of, in a way, dumb. But at the same time, it's like when you scan, you're not. Uh, you're not looking at planets because the structures can only be anchored near planets. Yeah. You're looking at an that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. You're only looking at objects that are close to anomalies and belts. So, I suppose. Well, the scanning, uh, I agree with Bradrick on that point. The scanning HUD needs to be updated. It needs to be more intuitive, but it needs to be updated with more details because here's the one thing I would say that, that Lesso or Lasso, whatever his name is, uh, misses the point on um, when you're if you want to do something different with scanning you need to add more details not less ie when I scan and I see someone's ship I want to see what's in their fucking cargo hold that is a thing in EO to see what's in someone's cargo hold I definitely, I definitely want to be able to see what's in someone's cargo hold do you um, have contraband are you smuggling contraband? Yeah. Is I that mean, if, you? It, am I going to waste my time killing that Neros 2 that has nothing of value in it? <laughs> or do I well, want the crap that's I mean, in it? <laughs> we, we had a guy, we had a guy come into deck and all he had was a, it, it was a tempest. And all he did was just fly through the space with nothing on but rigs. So like <laughs> he was purposely yeeting the ship, but could you have scanned that and be like, Oh, this guy doesn't have any guns. You know, he doesn't have anything in his cargo, nothing. So. No wonder a frigate killed him. Okay, so then Bradrick made another suggestion. He says, I want to be able to distinguish between structures and ships. Okay, how about a filter inside the scanning thing? Just have a couple of filters. I only want to scan a certain ship uh, tonnage, right? Just battlecruiser or less, or battleship or less, or capital only. Or structures only. Or, yeah, filter by tonnage, exactly. I think that would be... Uh, I think we're on to something there. That would be a good suggestion for someone to go and make. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Wow. Uh, next one comes from Big Bam Bam One. Make kamikaze frigs a thing, pretty please. That has five upvotes. Uh, now it has nine downvotes. I just downvoted that. Because that's what a bomber is, dude. Play the game. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, isn't that what it isn't that what it is? <laughs> That's sexy as hell, Bradrick. Where'd you get that? That's kind of I cool. can't believe I can't believe they found an even fatter Taylor Rick. They did. Yeah, Biggie Rick. Good lord. But it's not me or my twin brother. Um, <laughs> Big Eric is judging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, Bradrick. I do like that. Like, if your scanning interface wouldn't just replace your entire screen, if just your screen shrunk a little bit and then showed you information on the sidebar, like an overview does, I, I really like that. Like, just shrink everything over to the side and have that secondary bar. You could do that with everything, honestly. Like, you could have the market over there that you could scroll through. Your PI you could scroll through over there and not have to totally get out of this main window. I like that layout a lot. It would be small um, on the uh, on a phone, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, maybe just double tap it again to tap it to get that to come up, tap it again to go to main screen. I don't know. It's not hard. This is just UI improvements, right? This is not hard stuff. Um, okay. Um, next one from Saber Pate 101 or Saber Saber. Oh, I'm sorry. Saber Patel 01. He's must be Indian Patel. I don't know. I'm just being racist. Uh, buff armor tanking. 
Currently, shield tank is more OP. Okay. This guy doesn't play the game either. I'm just going to ignore the rest of this. I'm going to downvote it and move on. Armor doesn't need a buff. Next one, Edian 45 Roger. Can you make the Rattlesnake have bonuses on all drones for small to large? It has three upvotes and 27 downvotes. Again, dude, play the game. Yeah. He made a later suggestion, too. Can you make the Rattlesnake able to use all drones? 23 <laughs> downvotes. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to scroll up until I find one. That has, here we go. From Mia Do. I know who Mia Do is. M-I-A-D-O. Let us save a nanocore, implant, and GU settings, and have a ship cargo hold in fittings manager. Hold on. You're saying three things. Let us save a nanocore, implant, and GU setting. Okay, that part I get. Maybe all inside of the fitting screen. And items in ship cargo hold in fittings manager. What what's that last part mean? This has twenty seven upvotes and one down vote, by the way. Maybe maybe for fuel. Uh, you wanna put some extra fuel, extra drones, um, whatever you may need to bring, extra fits. Yeah, yeah. For reshipping, um, stuff like that. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. <clears throat> One right above it is uh, Cypher No One. Let system chat box inform inform us what wave we are on when fighting ANOMs, etc. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep it up on the screen as opposed to it just being yeah. a quick thing and it goes away and it scrolls by too fast. Cause a, so similar to like DR where exactly. it gives you a system message. Yep. Just have a system message saying you're on wave four or four or four out of six or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Because that thing could be really quick. There's sometimes where you look away. Oh, I totally and miss it. it. Shit. Yeah. Totally. I don't miss know. It. Am I on wave five? I don't know. It yeah. seems like it's wave five, but I don't. Know. It's always the sea and deads that I can never tell what wave I'm on, and I have to go and count how many dreads, and kind of that sort of sort yeah. of comes out right sometimes. But uh, but you know, it's it, the, everything's dying too fast. I can't. Oh well. Well, this next suggestion is going to be total shit, and that's because of who posted it. Um, Rudishwag posted it. <laughs> okay. What's Burr got to complain about now? Yeah. Introduce a new PvP scanning module that ignores structures and scans only ships. We just talked about this. So it's 18 yeah. upvotes, 18 downvotes. I'm going to give it over the edge. It's now got 19 downvotes. So. <laughs> Uh, Here, here's one from Commander Chicken. Make so you can buy Concord Pass with Plex, so free to play folks can have a chance with the rewards. I'm not free to play, so I don't really care. But still, in game, it should make the game more fun for free to play folks. O seven, fly dangerous out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thirty not, votes. They're not going to do that. It's not a bad idea. I think yeah, one of the things I, I think one of the things I don't that think would people want to spend plex on that. Though. Probably not. No, but but uh, for those that, that that want to, um, they can. I, I, so I think it's a, it's not a bad idea. I think there's a couple of very key things that would really catch this game back on fire again. Not to say that I think it's dead, although I, I think it's losing more players than it's gaining. That's for sure. Um, it's nowhere near dead. It's got lots of legs to it. But with that said, I think one, of, I think there's a couple of key things that would really set the game back on fire again. And the first one is your ability to purchase anything and trade anything with in-game currencies, whether that's Plex or straight up ISK. Any kind of thing you can actually get in the game without having external cash going into it. If you could purchase anything that way, uh, build and trade anything that way, Reverse engineer anything that way. Um, I think that would be a huge boon um, to how people perceive this game. Because really, it's just about perception. Um, and if people enough people have the perception that it is pay to win, then they feel like it is pay to win, and therefore it is pay to win. When the reality is there's absolutely nothing about this game that's pay to win. It's pay to get better faster. It's pay to have more DPS than somebody else. But that doesn't make you better. 
You can have a you, I mean, look at Kimani. The guy spends money on this game left and right and he still dies every other fucking day. He sucks, okay? That's not pay to win, that's paying to lose. <laughs> so, I mean, yep. if you don't know how to actually play in the game, if you don't actually have inherent skills, not SP, but inherent skills on how you're doing things, then it doesn't matter how much money you spend. Um, you're still going to suck. You can still kill a super carrier with a nano core that's maxed at maxed out with a 30 man battleship fleet. You can still do that. So it is what it is. I barely spend anything and it shows because I don't have anything good. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Here's a, here's one that got a 45 upvotes. Desperate, we desperately need virtual fittings. The inability to see the effects of especially rigs before equipping them is a real handicap. Yeah, we've talked about this. I have, have like that. A, have a fitting simulation. Yep. Yeah. We have talked about that. In yeah. fact, I'm going to go and link that right here. Everybody go and, go and upvote that. I uh, should be able to paste it. Come on. That doesn't have any downvotes. I think... No, we could all agree Damn. that that is something that needs to be in this game. Yep, hundred yeah. percent. Where is it again? Damn it, I lost it. I'm trying to make a link back to it. Everybody should go and vote for that. It's not that far up. It was posted on uh, July third, nine forty-four p.m. my time. There it is. So if I just go in here and I say copy, me there you go. Copy message link. Come back over here. Try this again. There it goes. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't paste when I did that before. It just... Nothing. So yeah, go and, vo go and vote that one up. That'd be great to get that sucker up over 100 votes. Doesn't mean anything other than... I don't know. Do they even look at those? If a community Probably manager not. is not responding to content creators, are they even going to look at the consider your suggestion the, the suggestion pages? Cloud does occasionally chime in general chat. I know he it. does. I know he does look at those. I mean, he's he's the only developer of this game that really talks to us. Um, yeah, maybe he's taking him seriously, but I don't know about I would the think rest he of the is. And and when it comes to that side of it. Um, so I want to say one thing about Cloud from what I've learned from him, both in watching him on uh, the, the videos they've put out when he's been on it, interviewing him, the talks that we've had, the AMA stuff that's happened, the DMs back and forth. And I know you know this too, Rambo, from, from the interactions you've had with Cloud. I'm sure you'll back me up on this comment. But Cloud certainly seems to have a real love for this game. He is a huge EVE Online lover. Like, he loves that game. He is thrilled and tickled to death that he's working on EVE Echoes. Um, so mm -hmm. say what you want to say about the devs. Uh, Cloud is one of those guys who just loves it, loves it to death. So I'm sure, and he and he responds to all kinds of people DMing him. It doesn't it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, yeah, he, he'll he'll respond back. So I'm very knowledgeable about the game, but of course yeah. there's stuff that he can't do. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's different departments and all that type of stuff. Yep. Yep. So. Exactly. He responds to change and change to nobody. So <laughs> you set yourself up for that, Jane. I, I mean, you just walked right in. <laughs> oh, he says not for long. Not for long. Oh, as, what's change going to do? What's change going to do? I read it as you're not wrong. Titan being built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of guys that are starting to work on Titans now because um, we're into that season. Titans are coming very, very soon. Uh, I, I, it's like my mantra, like winter is coming. Um, so, <laughs> yes, someone make the Photoshop of the winter is coming meme. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kill Blue Tap. You're going to doomsday is my alts. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. All right. That's it. That's, I mean, we could go on for hours on the, on the suggestion side and have a real laugh at some of those, but that's all I got for on that end of it. We've read quite a few of them. Yeah. Anything else on your end? Uh, nothing else on my end. I don't really have too much else to report. Um, again, I was super excited that we got Corp Rewards um, this last week. That was, like, the biggest thing that I got from this last patch. But otherwise, New Eden's been pretty quiet. I guess, uh, 
quiet is boring. Boring is good, but maybe not in this case. <laughs> no, it's not. It's time so, to. It, it, that's the case at work. You know, if, if, yeah. if quiet is boring yeah. and boring is good at work, then that means it's, that, that it's opposite in this game. So, um, yeah, just people just doing what they're doing. What they're doing. Yep. We will. Oh, there what, you go. Times are coming. Say. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, there. We have to differentiate the alley alts to the Rambo alts because there's an alley Rambo that was actually supposed to be a joint account that we we're both going to use, <laughs> but she ended up using it full time. So, yeah, I think no. there's a few of those. Not to be confused by the Rambos that are in big that right. that are not Rambos. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I never asked to use it. Never <laughs> had to. I don't know. All right. So any updates on the polling? Have you gone back? I guess we'll talk about that real fast, then we can wrap up the show. Any uh, do you have access yeah, to that data? I, I got so I got I got a lot of uh, feedback from that survey. Now I'm not on my computer to go back to it to give you actual numbers and stuff, but um, probably well over a hundred people have done that survey, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Donos wants me to explain this. How likely is it that you recommend or recommend specified company brand? You know that was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, let, let's just say that was an AI generated question <laughs> so, well, <laughs> I didn't catch that when I did my original <laughs> proofreading and so it sent through I, I took it as like how you know how would you, how likely are you to like recommend this podcast yeah. to somebody else right so that's kind of what I meant by having that question in there, but I see that it's kind of got some uh, grammar issues and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, Allie. No kidding. <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'll, I'll have that data for you though. Next one of the next times I'm on the computer and I, uh, and I check up with that. So <clears throat> Yep, that's now she's Kelly. claiming to be the true CEO. Yep. Here we go. Yep. And here we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rambo says this from the safety of a separate hotel room, and <laughs> that's what it looks like. Yes. <laughs> she is not in the vicinity where she cannot kick your nuts. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, real quick, did you know? The uh, who, who's getting hit by Hurricane Barrel right now? Uh, I wanted oh, where's to, it? Uh, where's it? Is did it go north into it's Texas? A, it's hitting Texas right now, oh, Texas yeah. coast. So you know, I, I just want to wish our listeners that were in the Caribbean um, that got hit that you know from that uh, Mexico, our listeners from Mexico, and as well as those in Texas to be uh, to be safe and get safe. In uh, from the hurricane's path, yeah, it's it's basically going due north right now. So, isn't it down uh, to a T two or T one though? Week. Is it like a level one? It level was T one. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was T one when it hit um, the coast, uh, and it was category three when uh, it hit the Yucatan. Yeah. So, but have the a, damage that's done. Have a friend, or a family friend, anyway, that's in Cancun for uh, summer vacation before they go to college, their senior trip, and they're in Cancun, so they got uh, a little bit of a taste of that. And now, yeah, I see it now on the thing going to right through uh, Houston, looks like. So, and I got a buddy in yep. Houston that the last go around of major storms, his house uh, lower <laughs> level <laughs> flooded, and he's still cleaning up from that. So. Yeah, yeah so the level a, hurricanes. Yeah, T one, T two. It's a T T one, T two. Yeah, that sucks. That's gonna go through uh, storm wise. Gonna go through Memphis too. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. So a lot of people are in the uh, the wrath of that. So if we have any listeners out there, I just I hope all is well. 
Yep. Hope all is well. That's basically all I got. All right, that's it. No outro music for us tonight, uh, as I don't have any of the hookups for that because I'm lame. Uh, so that is what it is. I'll have to put it in post. <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, being the host, Taylor. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks All for right. coming. We'll and wrap it audience. up. We'll see you in the talk channel as I do the after edit posting, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. 07. Thank you. Yep. Swiping, I like blinging, I like shining, I like billion dollar kills. Where's the X? Bitch, I'm dying. I like those big fat Minakawas, the ones that look like blocks. I like going to my builders, fill their hangers with square rocks. I like contracts with my contacts when they want to give me stuff. I like rolling on my cores, pimping stats and maxing buffs. They call me Queen Kawari, banging body, spicy mommy, hot tamale, hotter than you, Caldaria, micro warp or us. Start to hop up the blue, jump in the food, young gas core. Slapped on the hood, popping off misses as far as I can. Influence max and avoiding the scan. X tags from Space Daddy, yo. Snuggly just like Mario. Yeah, call me Kawari, yo. And I run this ship with Taylor, though. Damn, that new district in the net. Skills high, you know I'm getting good.